Of all the things to prepare for, probably the hardest is being daddy. Hi, I'm Pastor Trudemsic, and I'm here with my friend Will Sisler for the Gospel Minute. Today's Gospel is Mark 11, 1 through 11, and in it, Jesus is being prepared to go into Jerusalem where he's going to do some important stuff. We won't spoil that on with them right now. But he is finding a cult and going in to Jerusalem. And my friend here is also being prepared because it's his baby shower. And he's getting all these gifts to prepare him to be the best dad ever. So, Will, it's a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> especially Whoa. if you include Whoa. the Heavenly Father, that's a hard Whoa. task. But uh, what do you think is the most important thing to be prepared to be a good dad? I wish it were as easy as finding a cult, because that would be pretty simple. You know, you just go out and buy it and do it. We have to invest... You, you mean a cult as in a horse cult, like, you know... Not, not like... Not like okay. <laughs> no, no, finding, no, 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 no. The candles are all lit, and we're finding a yeah. cult, and they can raise our kid for us. <laughs> <laughs> So, and the question was, oh, so the most challenging, yeah. Yeah. C-O-L-T, yeah. for those of you at home, yeah. enunciation is key. Yeah. Um, so what's important to be a dad? Praying and understanding what God's will is. Yeah. Because if you don't understand that, you can't train up a child in the way they should go, your relationship with God wouldn't be right, and then if you don't understand what it means to be a man... With God as your father, mm. you also can't minister to your wife properly. And that is just, mm, that is paramount in parenting. Understanding your relationship with God and understanding your relationship with your wife. Yeah, one of the things that I really appreciated about the way my dad led our family is I knew I came third. My, uh, his God came first, my mom came second, and I came third. And so uh, that actually helped me to be a better man because I knew how to set priorities as well in my heart and my life. Remember, Absolutely. God sets you first and God loves you. We love you. God bless and have a great day.